This light is bright. My name is Nikosi Roma. I'm a writer, director, and cinematographer in Colorado. And today, I'm going to be talking about this guy back here. The Airy SR2. So, I got this towards the ending of last year. It's been a lifelong dream to shoot on film, and now I'm finally gonna have a chance to do it. I try to emulate the look of 16 millimeter film as some of my digital work. I've gotten pretty good at it, but nothing really compares to the real thing. Plus, it takes a tremendous amount of time uh, in post-production to be able to get that look. So, if the opportunity is available to shoot on the real thing, why not do it? There is one 16mm camera package available at a rental house that splits it between California, Texas, and Colorado. Unfortunately, it's not here much of the time, so I realized if I was going to be able to shoot 16mm film, I'd have to buy my own camera. A couple popped up now and then on eBay, but some of them looked a little sketchy and other times I just didn't have the funds available. So I started looking through ShareGrid, which is a platform that allows filmmakers to rent out their own personal gear. And I saw a guy in Texas. He had this camera listed for rent on his ShareGrid. And I decided, let me reach out and see if he uses it often, if he may be interested in selling it. So that's what I did. I sent him a message on Instagram um, and waited for his response. He let me know the camera was special to him, but he would think about it. So a couple months went by and he ended up reaching back out to me and told me that the Lord had really put it on his heart to pursue uh, a career in directing and not so much in cinematography. And he asked if I was still interested in buying the camera. And of course I said, yes, I'm, I'm totally interested in buying the camera. So we got on a phone call, discussed some details. He ended up praying over me, my family and my career. Um, it was just such a blessing. Uh, to be able to not only connect with another brother in Christ in filmmaking, but specifically one who also shoots film and had an interest in it. So that's the story of how I got this camera. Now let's get into an overview. The Airy SR2 is a German-made 16mm motion picture film camera. Um, it was manufactured in 1980. Two, I believe. It is the second iteration of three generations of cameras, the Airy SR1, SR2, and SR3. The SR in Airy SR stands for Silent Reflex, which is a combination of two things this camera uh, is capable of doing. One, the silent part is the way that it's built with the magazine, is able to run more quietly than its predecessors, and Reflex has to do with the Reflex viewing system using a series of mirrors, the image coming in through the lens is is bounced to where you can see it through the viewfinder. I guess let's go ahead and start with the camera body itself. This magazine comes off. We'll go ahead and do that now. So here's the kind of base of the camera body. This is where the magazine sits. There's some electronics inside. Um, very important for the camera to run how it does. This right here is the start and stop and uh, test panel here. So basically all the controls that you need for this camera right here. Um, the test button just inches the film forward. The sprocket wheel is turning. There's a little claw, that a pull down claw um, that advances the film when it's engaged. Here's the start and stop, start and stop lever. So if I flick this down, or maybe I have it off. There's a little locking pin here to prevent you from accidentally turning it on. So I just switched it on. That's why I pushed this down. That's what it looks like when it's advancing at 24 frames per second. This is access to the light meter, which can hit notorious for not working very well. But um, if you switch this here, the ISO essentially, or the ASA setting will change. So when you're looking through the viewfinder, you can see a little lever that kind of bounces up and down unless you know where your exposure is at. Um, again, not very accurate. This is the inching wheel, which it's amazing. These camera, this camera is amazing because every single component of 
the camera body as well as the magazine, which we'll get into, um, they all work together at the same time. So this little wheel, if I turn it, you'll see um, the wheel turning inside. Um, moving on to this side, this is a start and stop handle. It can start and stop the camera when it's in the accessory position. So there you go. Now we'll move to the front of the camera. This is obviously the lens. This is a Zeiss uh, 10 to 100 T2 zoom lens. It covers Super 16 um, to down to about 30 millimeters on the wide end. Um, it is a PL lens, which stands for positive arc. So these two wings here rotate and the lens just comes right off. Set that aside so I can show you more of the front of the camera. As I rotate, you'll see the mirror shutter begin to rotate as well. Um, so the light will come in and that, that mirror shutter is what one exposes each frame as the film is running through, but also bounces light up to the prism, which splits half goes to the viewfinder and another half goes to the video tap, which I don't have at the moment. So that's how you see your image and also how the film is exposed. Let's get into the viewfinder. It's kind of amazing because the way this is designed with the mirrors inside is so that no matter which way this is facing, you will always have uh, the image right side up. This also does rotate this way. So you could operate from the right side of the camera, left eyed. All right, so the viewfinder has a Kind of shutter I guess I don't know prevents light from fogging through just a little switch there this is a diopter so this will adjust the the focus to your eye specifically I'm a glasses and contacts wear and if I take my glasses off using this diopter I can actually see clearly uh, with no uh, visual assistance I guess we'll talk about the battery now this is the original battery adapter this hinges so that the camera the battery doesn't have to be detached in order to remove the magazine and then it comes straight off like that this is what a original battery for this camera looks like um, it's just you know some cells within the casing and then a magnet uh, on the back so that allows it to slide on through this opening here onto the battery adapter and then attach it to the back of the magazine via a magnet. So this adapter plate is essentially just a gold mount plate that has been screwed on to the back of a original SR2 battery casing with the magnet still intact. So that way it can be used So this is an SR2 magazine. It's a coaxial magazine, so it simultaneously feeds the film and takes it up. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up real quick. So this is the feed side where the film goes into. This roller here engages so that the film um, stays put basically keeps running smoothly it feeds through Lock it back up Comes up there and then you'd eventually load this in through here come around to this side which is the take up side so this film will feed through attach into the collapsible core um, the roller shuts down and then it's ready to go. I'll have a video showing how to kind of do the loading process. Um, but yeah, so that's the, the magazine. Pretty cool. There's a footage counter window on the back so you can kind of gauge how much footage you have left. And this is the pressure plate, which when engaged with the camera, um, helps the film to stay steady and stay tight against the body. So in order to load this, basically you just come in here come at an angle, clamp it down, and then the magnets on the battery, attach like so. And there's a little lock on the top, so you can't push this 
unless this is first pushed up and then you can have the freedom to release it. Pretty cool. These two accessories are third party from a cool company um, in Switzerland, I believe. Um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name, but it basically means little camera workshop. So they make accessory for a lot of different things, but and, which is cool is they still work with the SR2 camera. So these basically just provide extra mounting points as the only mounting point on this camera is on the top handle. I actually have an extra handle here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. That one point is the only mounting point on the entire camera, which makes it difficult for integrating into modern cinema uh, setups with things like a wireless video system, uh, follow focus, um, and easy rig or gimbal attachments, things like that. So having multiples of those with these accessories is really nice. And I can do kind of an overview, breakdown of those in another video. And I guess there's one last thing I didn't really talk about. Um, here's the lightweight support, which is used for attaching, you know, a matte box, uh, lens support, or even, you know, follow focus system. So this comes off there. These are standard 15 millimeter rods, attaches via a cold shoe to the front of the camera here. And it screws on just like that. So there you have it. That's pretty much an overview of the Airy SR2. Uh, I look forward to showing you more about it, you know, get into some of the accessories, show you how to load a magazine, and obviously some footage um, behind the scenes of working with film and, and shooting projects with it. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm gonna be bringing out more 16 millimeter content in the future, and I want you to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.